competition. This will include investments in terminals such as Badavan, the major terminal the deep seaport, Navashiva, and logistic platforms in Pune and Badri, and training 1,000 additional Indian seafarers and also in artificial intelligence where we do a lot of business with some of the big Indian tech companies and we spend quite a, a big amount of money in technology in India. What is your requirement for the seafarers? What we would like is that they be available as quickly as possible. And what we were looking at is today we do not operate any U.S. flag Indian ships. And we would like very much, as we have done in France with the French flag, we would like very much then in India, we also start shifting some of our international flag ships to Indian ships. And maybe if, one... If we can start some skill development activity there in coastal area, yes. you will get best ship and we would look forward to it. We would like also to enter into discussion with the Shipping Corporation of India. I believe that if we were to team up with them, we can open up many destinations and they will also open up India for us. So we believe very much as a shipping and logistic company, there are many things that we can do in India. And the timing for India is now, thanks to all what you're doing. So we would like, as I was mentioning to you on the 31st floor, we believe very much in shipping in India. As I told you, now we have already reformed in our policies. We are going to open up. And we want, we'll give some financial facilities also. But the objective for you is to create industrial jobs. And to, to build the ships. Manufacturing capacity. And for the containers, of course, we have a ship breaking yard. So you can get very good raw material from the ship breaking yard. And out of that, you can build, uh, uh, manufacture containers. Paru, what you're saying, we will be sending a team of experts to Mumbai. So my team pleasure. will talk in different days with your team. With pleasure. Yeah. Because what we see now, when we operate, we operate also in the USA. And there's a major concern with the very tense relationship between the US and China. And the US are now pushing us to try and find other ways when it comes to shipbuilding and ship ownership. Korea is okay, South Korea is okay, but they would like, and India would be great. And we operate many services from India to the US and to Europe, where we can also deploy US flag, uh, Indian flagships with uh, my ambassador will keep in touch with their office and will get the details. As soon as we'll get the details, I'll see that what my team can do. Because we have different sizes of ships. And I do containers, but we can go bigger. But definitely, thank you. And maybe to conclude um, my presentation. Yes. We see the relevance of the IMAC project. Yes. And, and I think what's important... Any point of the Europe. Exactly. And Marseille would be clearly the entry point of the whole European market. And Marseille, and this is what we are working on, is, as you can see on the map on the, on the left side, here, Marseille Foss, you have a very big river road zone, and it will, it's the best way to go to the French market, but as well to the Switzerland, to the German market, and uh, all the European products <coughs> in Thailand. And this is the role for the real network is existing. We, have, we, are work, we, we already have a, a rail network, but we are working on rail, water transportation, and one of the big projects is clearly to merge, I speak under the control of President of Marseille, but Marseille and Lyon, and, uh, and Lyon, which is a few hundred of kilometers north of Marseille. Mm -hmm. So to have a port, port management there, and to have the ability, after that, to go to the different part of, uh, of, uh, of Europe. Mm -hmm. And Marseille is the entry point of cables. Mm -hmm. Two-thirds of, uh, uh, of the connectivity and electrical cables arriving in Europe go through France. 
and Marseille is one of the biggest hubs. Energy, and IMEC will be clearly, will channel a lot of energy to Marseille, but we have as well a project coming from Spain and Portugal, Barmed, and a project coming from Morocco, and obviously all the shipping uh, business and uh, all the, the different uh, equipment, goods, consumer products, and so on. So it makes a lot of sense to have Marseille as this entry point for the European uh, business, with India on the opposite side, and to have the corridor I make in order to secure all the connectivity for the whole region. And from here, if we can extend up to Vietnam and Myanmar, we can reach. I think it makes a lot of sense. Yes. Hmm. And we believe as India is, is driving very fast, there are many exports from India that will be going through this IMEC corridor to Europe and also to the US. The big question mark will be when will the railway be ready from, say, the UAE all the way to Haifa? They have already started the work. Saudi has also done it. You believe it's a question of a couple of years? It's very difficult to say because there are so many places in this western India, western part of the world. Because we will be able to save around 10 to 15 days if we use the rail versus going by sea through this west canal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because today, we go through this West Canal. This is will be much faster to use rail once it's available. <coughs> more yeah. We have it. already started virtual operation with VAE and Oman. We operate uh, the port of Khalifa in Abu Dhabi. We have a joint venture, a joint venture with Abu Dhabi port, so we are very present in the UAE. What is your strategy regarding your own ports? Which one do you want to, uh, to have as a, as a cornerstone infrastructure? Or you want to multiply the number of, uh, of sites? You have to do this. 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 You have to do तीन चार पोर्ट्स को हैंडल करना पड़ेगा ये बहुत ह्यूज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन बनने वाला है हम एक को पर टारगेट नहीं कर सकते लेकिन अगर मानो नॉर्थ से कुछ आ रहा है तो फर्स्ट विल बी यूजफुल और ज्यादा ईस्ट एंड नॉर्थ नॉर्थ से आ रहा है तो जो वर्धमान नया बन रहा है दैट कैन बी यूजफुल इफ समथिंग इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द साउथ दिस अनदर कैन बी यूजफुल so one port will definitely not be enough. We will need more than one for all the, uh, the containers that will likely to come up once this uh, corridor is ready. And they, uh, so there will have to be about four or five around, along the western coast. Right now we only have, uh, we talk, if we talk about just one, that won't be sufficient. And it will also depend on where the shipments are coming from, whether it's from the north, whether it's from the east or the south. They, we'll have to just look at different <coughs> ports. <coughs> because we understand that you are putting the emphasis on Vadavan, the new terminal. That will be the biggest uh, terminal in India. So for you, this will be because we are looking yes, at becoming yes. one of the yeah. investors in Vadavan terminal. And what is good about Vadavan is you will be able to send big ships to the deep track. Vadavan is my first priority. <coughs> And this is also in the next coming years that it will be ready. Well, it's too early to say. <laughs> but as soon as possible, we would like to do it. Mr. President, Your Excellency, we would like to ask questions or more information from our side. My, my first requirement is 
maximum seafarers from India. So nowadays we are most probably the tenth in the world. We want to be there in first two or first three. So we do one thousand. Yeah, about one thousand is a small number. Oita is small, but for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, but definitely, I very much believe in Isa, and this is the timing is perfect, and we would like to be your partner. In you well, you are business. most welcome. And what do you need in order to do faster and more? We yes. are interested in building ships in Asia, and mm -hmm. if we are in a position to do so, we, we are know. we are open for help. Please come to send your team. My team will sit with them. Whatever your requirements are there, whatever whatever the rules and regulations are there, how to work together, we'll find out a way. But should we do faster? Yeah, definitely more. Yeah. So our Thank you. ambassadors will follow up that. Yeah, Mr. Team. will look into it. Yeah, yeah. So we will do it. And yeah. I suggest with the technical teams. Mm. And uh, we will, if we have specific requirements, let us know. And uh, we yeah. will convey and we will accelerate. And it will be a good, uh, a very good, important <coughs> for you to be a contributor to the. As soon as possible. India. I have already instructed my team is here. They will do the follow up. Mm. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. And, and they thank can you. bring partners as well. Afterwards. Thank you. We have the president who is also going to be pushing us. To yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we will go faster and yeah. for Marseille, yeah. for Mers as well. Thank you. On est bon? You want to add something? Christophe sur le port. Monsieur le maire. Et j'ai rendez-vous l'année prochaine pour votre visite. If I may, uh, if I may, uh, Your Excellency, Monsieur le Président, our foundation is also very active uh, in India. India as a strategic country for us, and we are a par we have partnered with two major NGOs in India, Salam Balek and Cry. And on the humanitarian field, we have sent during COVID a whole plane full of oxygen units. Mm -hmm. So we are really very committed to India. I'm very grateful to you for all the assistance that you have provided us, especially during the COVID pandemic. And we can say that we have a timeline next year when I will come to India. We will go forward. Exactly. Yeah. So we have a, a, a next stage. Yeah, and we could, we could have a, a, a business forum based on IMEC. I think it could be a great occasion in India. The IMEC is our first value. Same. And Gérard Mistralé on our side as well is coordinating the work. So we make sure that Gérard is involved. Okay. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Okay, so you saw there the detailed, uh, essentially, uh, question-answer that took place uh, at the ITER, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor. Uh, it's known as the world's largest science experiment, aims to master nuclear fusion and essentially create a mini-sun. And India has played a crucial part in this project. We've essentially contributed 10% of the costs and also built the cryostat that houses the nuclear reactor. But you see there a detailed discussion taking place on exactly how they're going to move forward on the Middle East corridor that so many countries benefit from, not just to India. And that you saw there there was a detailed discussion taking place on the status report, essentially, of where the Middle East Corridor project currently stands. This is a core project that essentially connects India to Europe and many Middle Eastern countries also stand to benefit from it. So it's hugely strategic, important for India and for so many countries around the world. And you saw Prime Minister Modi also asking several questions on the progress that's been made in parts of Europe on this particular project and to questions about, you know, other countries' involvement. That's when you also heard him very clearly saying 
that uh, that's something that we can't really disclose. That's something that they will have to give details over. But you heard him also very clearly kind of sending out a message that India is 100% open. India is open to opportunities. India is open to development, to growth. Shashank Mattu is joining us with more details on this. Shashank, uh, you know, such an interesting conversation that we've been privy to where you heard the Prime Minister essentially uh, asking them for details on really the status report as far as the Middle East corridor goes. No, you're absolutely right. Look, this is a project that is of immense strategic importance to Europe, to the Middle East, as well as to India. You know, just to remind our viewers that it was concluded on the uh, sidelines of the G20 summit in 2023. And the idea was that a logistics uh, corridor to really create a new pathway for international trade uh, between India, the Middle East and Europe. Uh, well, this was the idea behind IMEC. Unfortunately, because of the conflict in the Middle East that has been playing out right now, that uh, corridor project has been delayed. Numerous government officials have very publicly said that, look, this has been delayed. But over the last couple of weeks, we've seen that there has been some tamping down of the tensions on the conflict in the Middle East. And India has expressed some hope that the IMEC project will therefore be uh, back on track. In fact, Dr. Dr. Jashankar mentioned something exactly like this just a couple of weeks ago. So now to mention this with, to the president of France and to discuss this and to say that uh, it shows that India is serious about getting all sides aligned again on IMEC and pushing this project as a strategic uh, priority. They don't want to let the momentum uh, die on this uh, very interesting project. So that, I think, reflects the importance of the prime minister's statement and his conversation with President Macron of France. Uh, also, interestingly, right now, the Prime Minister is, in fact, uh, at uh, that uh, thermonuclear experimental reactor, uh, Shashank, uh, which is also crucial because you've had India and France signing a declaration for modular nuclear reactor partnership, which is where perhaps that message of the Prime Minister saying, look, we're opening up like never before is so important. You're absolutely right. So if you go back to just the budget, uh, speech that Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman made. She said that, look, we're going to change the 2010 Civilian Nuclear Liability Law. We're going to amend, amend the Atomic Energy Act to, in ways that could make it much easier for foreign companies to come to India and set up nuclear power reactors. India is in crying need of uh, energy for its economy to develop uh, strongly, and nuclear power is an important part of that. So striking deals on modular reactors could be a very, very key portion of how India powers its economy in the future and therefore this uh, visit to the ITER reactor is extremely important because it shows India's seriousness and it's signaling from the Indian government's perspective that look, India is open for business when it comes to nuclear power, come to India, build these nuclear power plants. We already have projects in the pipeline between India and France for the building of six nuclear power stations in India. This is something that the Prime Minister is using to send a very clear message that you can come, French companies are welcome as well as a signal to the entire world that India is open for nuclear power. All right, Shashank, we leave it at that. Thanks very much for joining us with all of those details.